San Diego, renowned for its beauty by day, but our sights can be just as spectacular after dark. The historic neon is a colorful and magnificent element of San Diego city lights. El Cajon Boulevard in the 1950s and into the 1960s was once described as a sea of neon. However, neon's popularity waned and lost favor in the 1970s. People began to view it as tacky the city turned away from animated neon. With only a few examples remaining of neon's glory days, groups such as the National Trust for Historic Preservation and SOHO have worked to protect what remains of a bygone era. As with all historic assets, the signs tell a story and speak uniquely about the time and place they represent. San Diego has an especially rich tradition with its neighborhood signs, and these also have fallen out of favor before. Many were taken down, lost, or neglected. As so often the case, the San Diego neighborhood of Hillcrest stood as a cultural leader by recognizing the value of its colorful landmark. It waged a vigorous campaign to rebuild their previously neglected sign. Every year the community celebrates this sign with a special event called City Fest. Two sister neighborhoods also have floating neon signs supported by cable. These two are unique because they are original, not rebuilds or copies. Sadly, both signs are at extreme risk, especially the beleaguered Kensington sign. There is a cry to demolish these signs because of anxiety over imagined safety issues. This hasn't been an issue for Hillcrest, nor for the Golden Gate Bridge, which is also supported by cables. The Historic Resources Board of San Diego helps separate fact from fiction. It is a board with expertise in both professional and academic disciplines. Historical designation must meet specific guidelines and criteria. Decisions are based on researched information and evidence provided not on the whims of politics or popular taste. The Kensington sign was designated historic unanimously. Board members praised the floating sign design with its cable support system as unique and one of a kind, and it should be preserved. But the Kensington sign has been taken down and removed. Many concerned citizens were not only shocked to see their beloved neighborhood sign gone one day, but were horrified to learn the historically designated sign was taken apart in a way that may endanger its repairability. Concerned citizens don't want a theme park replacement sign. They want their historic original repaired and put back as a contributor to San Diego's historic Neon Rhapsody.